Okay, here we are um, with the AP52 Deep Ripper. I just want to have a chat to you guys about the differences from the AP51 to the AP52. Now, I guess in terms of its functionality, it's it's not a hell of a lot different, but there's some really exciting new features on the AP52 machine um, that we're pretty happy with. Most of those features um, are around the shank assembly itself um, and the wheel arms are constructed a little bit heavier um, in, in their format as they are built into the frame of the machine. Now, probably just come around the back of the machine to have a look at the shanks. Um, so, looking at the shank assembly itself, we've now incorporated the spher spherical bush here um, up the front there. Um, got the hard pins um, in the dog bone there. But I guess mainly a lot of the difference is in the cylinder itself. So, previously our hydraulic cylinder only had one port at the top. So, this meant that all travelling around would go into that single port, would have to fill up the cylinder and then the air and the, and the excess oil would have to escape back through the same port. I guess moving along and improving you know on an already good system we've installed these two ports. Um, our hydraulics flow through a daisy chain type system now so this the oil going in, oil going out, oil going in, oil going out all the way around the circuit um, the cylinder itself has a nitrate finish, which is a much, much uh, better improvement on the previous chrome, uh, chrome rods, so obviously a lot more rust resistant. Um, going back to the hydraulic system, as we follow that back around to the front of the machine, we'll see that, that we have two taps on our manifold. Now, what that allows us to do is to fully bleed our system air uh, so we can plug that in the back of the tractor with both our taps open we can hold the remotes on in the tractor and as the oil travels around each cylinder it can complete the circuit and get all of that air out of the system once we've got all that air out of the system we can then go and close our one of it our return tap which is a return to the tractor we can charge the accumulator or the oil pressure in the system up to the, the designated working pressure and then we can shut that tap off. That is a much, much uh, better improvement on the AP51 model, but this is also true for all of our agriplower range. So it's a massive improvement that we've made. Um, we're pretty excited about it. This machine here is uh, going down to Tasmania, which is even more exciting, great market down there. Um, yeah, so if you want to follow this one, We'll be setting up this machine in, um, in the weeks and months to come.